Guan Yu. Hmm. So he's really sided with Cao Cao. All right. You know, I always wanted to fight you one time. Zhang Fei. Perhaps another time, my friend. What? Won't you prepare to die? <laughs> Brother, at last, at last I have found you. Won you. My place is here. Beside you, my lord and brother. Uh... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Our brother would never betray us! Deep down, I always knew that! <laughs> This is your third visit. What is it that you want so badly from me? I wish to benefit from your wisdom. Tell me what must be done. I know what I want to do. I want to ease the people's suffering. But... But you save one person and it just brings suffering to another. What should I do? <laughs> Benevolence is a tricky thing. Benevolence means valuing the feelings of the people over efficiency or profit. Cao Cao's way. Is to seize control of the land through brute force. While your path leads the people to a land of benevolence. Your path is that of a true leader of men. But to make it more than just a dream, you must have the courage to unite the land. I fear I am incapable, my lord. If you truly want to make it happen, then listen, for I can help you. Han Xuan is a weakling. But, if he has experienced officers in his ranks, then this may take some time. Being traitor, I 
kill Han Xuan. Wei Yan here has killed the lord of the castle. We humbly surrender. It was an honor to have fought against you, Lord Guan Yu. Do what you will with us, but please spare the innocents in the castle. Our brother will treat you all with mercy. Yes. We must defeat Wu. But Sao Pi is the true threat. What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death. What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei... He has been killed... by his own men. What? The traitors... have taken his head... and fled to Wu! Forgive me. I wanted... a land of benevolence, like we had talked about. But I allowed my grief to consume me, and it cost men their lives. Your mistakes are due to your benevolence. You have supported me until the very last, my friend. My son, Liu Shan. He must take over when I am gone. But if he proves inadequate, then I want you to lead Shu. But my lord... Indeed, you are the one who has shown true benevolence until the very end. My lord. You must complete the task I have left unfulfilled. Ah, my brothers, my friends. I'm sorry I took so long. Now, we go. Together.
Chong An lies ahead. And beyond that, the capital of Wei, Luoyang. With Wu's help, we'll destroy Wei. And realize our Lord's dream. <laughs> the road to that goal is long and steep yet. My lord? But still, I have faith. I see the spirit of benevolence of Lord Liu Bei. I see it in you, Jiang Wei. And I see hope for the next generation. You mustn't speak as if your time is done. We will do this together. Hmm. I hope so. I swear that I will make a life.